Welcome to today's Global Connections program. I'm Bill Miller. Today we've got a very interesting topic and we're gonna look at how various corporations team up with nonprofits to create better social change. My guest is an expert in this area. Teresa Schieber is the Chief Social Impact Officer with Give With, an innovative social enterprise that connects brands with nonprofits to leverage business transactions that create social change. Teresa, welcome to today's Global Connections program. Hi, Bill, thank you for having me. I, I think I just explained your program, but you we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you anyway. Sure. <laughs> but it, this is a fascinating concept. Uh, well, let's, let's start with Give With. When was it formed, why was it formed? Sure, uh, Give With was formed in 2016, and it's really an expansion of an idea that our founder, Paul Polizzotto, social entrepreneur, has been working uh, to develop companies that advance social impact for decades. It, it's built on an idea that he has been working on for the last 18 years around the power of social impact to leverage business transactions and fund nonprofits. Uh, so our um, purpose is really focused on how do we um, transform business transactions to create social change? How do we use business as an engine for impact? Mm -hmm. And through our technology platform, we bring together important, effective nonprofit organizations and businesses and allow business to accomplish more of their business goals while also providing new streams of funding to nonprofits that are mm -hmm. delivering important social change programs across the world. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. And our viewers can go to your website, www.givewith.com. That's right. Now, with the .com, are you, you're not a 501c3 yourself, though, or are you? That's Is correct. We're not a 501c3. We are a for-profit, mm -hmm. um, and but we are a for-profit with a social mission. Mm -hmm. uh, we are driven by a commitment to getting more funding into the nonprofit nonprofit sector. And we believe that there is a, an opportunity room for um, business, and our business in particular, to uh, contribute a new stream of funding that isn't traditional philanthropy, that isn't mm -hmm. traditional corporate social responsibility, but really looking at businesses and thinking about how businesses can leverage what they do, think differently about what they do, and drive more funding in the non into the nonprofit space. So we've taken, made the decision to be a for-profit, but we work with hundreds of nonprofits around the world mm -hmm. to get more funding to them through our business relationships with other for-profit mm -hmm. companies. I see. Now, roughly, uh, how many businesses do you work with and how many nonprofits? You mentioned hundreds yeah. of nonprofits. Uh, is that the same case with the businesses, I guess? Yes, we, we are in conversations with um, uh, businesses both in the U.S. and globally. Mm -hmm. Every day we've got a, a team that's out talking to companies um, focused on their marketing, their procurement, their sales, and how they can integrate the give with model into their business transactions to do more uh, social impact. So dozens and dozens of companies are working with us and we've got today about 75 nonprofits that work exclusively mm -hmm. with the Give With Network, providing us opportunities to showcase their programs and their funding needs to the brands that we work with. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone is with a business and or a nonprofit, and they'd like to know more about it, would they just go to givewith.com to get that information, or how would they, would that be a good place to start? That's an excellent place to start. We have a lot of information and examples of the ways that we work with both nonprofits and companies on our website. There's also an opportunity to reach out to the team. We've got an incredible social impact team that is, um, engaging with nonprofit organizations every day, and we, we love getting approached by nonprofit organizations through our website, but businesses can also uh, contact us through the website. So that's a mm -hmm. good place to start. And you're the chief of the social impact that operation. Is, that uh, is correct, that is you. correct. I have the privilege to uh, both help shape our social impact strategy for our company, um, ensure that we're integrating social impact into the work that we do, but also advise our clients on how they can integrate more social impact programming into the work that they do every day. Mm -hmm. well, two of the areas of emphasis for Global Connections Television, we, we have all types of diverse interests on this program, international trade, economic development, human rights, human trafficking, just on across the board. But the two areas we always try to focus on to some degree are climate change, which in my opinion, in the opinion of a lot of scientists, is the number one problem we're confronting today. We see what's happening and the, the news is not good. <laughs> it is yeah. not good. The scientific studies are getting worse and worse, more ominous, shall we say. Yes. And the other is to empower women. 
women can make a tremendous change in every society if given an opportunity. Uh, do you, uh, do you folks, do you have any examples maybe of companies you're working with in this particular area that would focus on either those two areas of importance for us anyway, or uh, some of the others too, not just sure. necessarily that. Uh, a couple of, uh, the answer is yes to all okay. of those. Okay, yes. Um, uh, interestingly, Paul, our founder, is uh, a surfer, he's an environmentalist, and so mm -hmm. the uh, environment, sustainability, climate change, these are issues that are really important to us as a business, and that we do a lot of work with our uh, corporate brands around. So we've got a number of examples um, in that area, as well as women's um, economic empowerment, but we've got uh, program and part nonprofit partnerships w with organizations that are focused on a range of issues beyond that, education, health and wellness, civil society, criminal justice, arts and culture. So we really have a, a very broad sweep of the nonprofit sector. Mm -hmm. One example of the way that we work with brands and uh, mm -hmm. nonprofits is a recent project we did with Dell. De and, and this is an environmental Dell project. Computer. Dell Computers. Dell mm -hmm. Computers, uh, client of ours. They were getting ready to launch a new uh, laptop with packaging that was made with 25% recycled plastic. And they worked with GiveWith to say, how can we do more than just educate consumers about this? We were able to connect Dell with Waterkeeper Alliance and develop a digital ad campaign where consumers, when they engaged with that content, were unlocking funding to Waterkeeper Alliance to support their ocean plastic recovery initiative. Mm -hmm. So not only was Dell educating uh, consumers about their commitment to um, removing plastic from the ocean, they were actually giving consumers, citizens, the opportunity to take action and help get more plastic out of the ocean mm -hmm. simply by engaging with the content. Um, so through that program, we were able to provide thousands of dollars to Waterkeeper Alliance. They're now focused on getting um, uh, millions of kilos of plastic out of, out of the ocean primarily in the areas of Costa Rica and Mexico and that was that not only is good for the planet but it also aligned with uh, Dell's commitment to removing plastic from the ocean so it was really a win-win for all of the parties. <coughs> it certainly was and of course that ties right into climate change and trying to improve our planet is what we're trying to do and as I understand there are like five gyres where the currents come together and the, of course when they come together they bring all the plastic That's and right. they're literally miles and miles kilometers and kilometers of islands, of plastic islands out there floating around. It, it's been predicted that like within the next 15 or 20 years, I may be off on that a little bit, but the plastic will outweigh the fish in the ocean. Uh, yes, we've heard that by 2050, and maybe it's, it's, it's going to be, maybe it will be sooner, Bill. At the rate we're going with That's right. <laughs> things by, by may 20, happen that By way. 2050, there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Those are the estimates today. So we as a business want to a, find the most powerful and effective nonprofits that are implementing the most effective programs to address an issue like plastic pollution, make those opportunities available to brands, and then give companies an opportunity to fund those programs, not through their philan traditional philanthropy mm -hmm. channel, but through their business transactions, right? So in the example of Dell and Waterkeeper Alliance, Dell was going to fund an ad campaign anyway. Through our model, they were able to use some of those resources to add additional funding to Waterkeeper Alliance. So they were able to accomplish their marketing goals, but also advance important social impact and fund Waterkeeper through a new stream of funding out of their mm -hmm. ad spend. Mm -hmm. And so it really doesn't adversely affect their bottom line. I mean, it, it's a little bit less than what it would be, but overall, when you look at the social good that's coming out of it, that's really a very um, advantageous situation for them. Absolutely. One of the things that we've done some work around is valuing how uh, important and valuable social impact is compared mm -hmm. to other incentives or business strategies. And what we have found that as a sales incentive, social impact <coughs> compared to say a discount or free shipping is 13 times more valuable to a business than those other kinds of incentives. And that's because of the um, exponential uh, positive impacts of the social impact itself, mm -hmm. what it does to consumer engagement, how it allows you to sell more of your products, all of those pieces are significantly more valuable uh, mm -hmm. because of the social impact element. So yes, for businesses, um, they are able to accomplish more of their goals. They're able to sell more of their products, 
raise more awareness about their services, but also help accomplish more social impact. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are there certain categories of companies like Dell's into computers and that type of thing, high tech operations? Are there certain categories that you find uh, folks, uh, the companies that are interested in this? For example, I don't know, food processors or uh, high tech <laughs> computer sure. operations, or they're just it's just a real potpourri. It's an interesting question. What we have found when we go out and talk to companies and describe our model, um, this is I'll use an, 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 a quick analogy, something that um, our CEO likes to say. He likes to say, "We'll do the exercise, you'll lose the weight." And what he <laughs> means by that is, we want to make this frictionless for businesses. We mm -hmm. want to help them change their behaviors without them actually realizing that it's happening. And that's um, integrating social impact into their business transactions is so positive that um, they'll just begin to do it automatically. So what we find is that whether it's auto, tech, um, consumer goods, when we sit down with companies and describe what we're doing, the response is pretty much the same. This is a no-brainer. Why hasn't someone thought of this before? How can we get involved? Because this allows us to accomplish our business objectives and our commitment to social impact. Mm -hmm. When you were first launching this, what was your major challenge at that point? When you first came up with this concept and went out to the businesses and uh, brought this? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you had to go to them first to at least explain what the program was about. And then they saw the advantage in doing it and they got on board. But what was your major challenge at that juncture? I think the, the most challenging um, um, element of our work, and maybe this is an opportunity, it's a challenge and an opportunity, we want to transform commerce. That's what mm -hmm. our big idea is. Mm -hmm. We believe that there are, uh, there is enough uh, financial resources to help support uh, and provide more, non uh, provide more support to nonprofits, and that we have to think creatively about how we can leverage those resources to accomplish social change. Um, and so, when you've got a big ambitious idea like transforming commerce, it takes some time educating people around how they can apply that to their business. So I think the, the, the challenge and the opportunity for us is um, getting in front of um, as many uh, uh, people who can evangelize for the work that we're doing and see the positive impact mm -hmm. that we're having in the world. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's very advantageous when the nonprofits who can do a lot in the world team up with the for profits, the, as you mentioned, the commerce end of the, our society, because they too have great resources and can be of great assistance to all of us. Well, you're watching Global Connections Television, which is a privately funded, independently produced program. The opinions expressed on Global Connections are solely those of the moderator and his guests. We would invite our viewers to go to our website at www.globalconnectionstelevision.com to view previous programs. Also, if you're involved with any type of a PBS or community access television station, or perhaps an educational institution that has an intra-campus television hookup, or you just have a website and you like our shows and you would like to share them, please feel free to do so. Global Connections Television is provided as a public service at no cost to help us better understand international issues and how they impact our lives. Today we're taking a look at a very unique program that, that brings the, the private sector to, in uh, conjunction with the nonprofits to provide positive social change. And my guest is an expert in this area. Teresa Schieber is the Chief Social Impact Officer with GiveWith, an innovative social enterprise that connects brands with nonprofits to leverage business transactions that create social change. Teresa, this is a very, very important concept. Now, we use the example of the cleaning the oceans, which yeah. is so important. It's very, very important. Uh, do you have any other examples? Uh, before the program, I think you mentioned something about a cook stove, a clean cook stove program. What, what exactly is that? Sure. Uh, one of our nonprofit partners is an organization called the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves. Mm -hmm. They provide clean cook stoves to communities, particularly in the developing world. And the cook stoves are designed, one, to be more, um, to address uh, climate change issues, smoke, health and wellness issues in the home, and provide women an opportunity to sell cook stoves to other women in their community. So it's an economic empowerment engine, it's a health and wellness um, opportunity, and it addresses climate change. We uh, collaborated with Natixis Bank, 
and Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves to help bring those two organizations together and fund the expansion of the Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves program in Guatemala and mm -hmm. had the ability to in, uh, impact, positively impact dozens of women's lives who then are positively impacting their families and their communities more broadly. Mm -hmm. That's one example. Another um, example of uh, the work that we do around women's economic empowerment is a uh, program that we funded with Black Girls Code and one of our uh, clients, HP. Uh, the HP applied the give with model to a business transaction with one of their customers and funded coding classes last summer for 500 girls across the country. So not only was HP able to use give with to accomplish a, a business objective, but they were supporting uh, the diversity uh, pipeline of women mm -hmm. moving into tech mm -hmm. into the future, which is really exciting. So accomplish both goals simply by partnering with give with and our partner Black Girls Code. Mm -hmm. And this H.P. Hewlett-Packard? Yes, oh, okay. H.P. Hewlett-Packard. Just want to make sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not totally familiar with these yeah. <laughs> initials. Th that's a very interesting program. Do you have any others in the pipeline that are, I'm sure you have dozens of examples of what you're doing, but do you have some that you're looking at now that it wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, open them, uh, spill the beans if we said, well, we're looking at doing this, right. uh, not with a particular company, but in certain areas, let's say. Yes, so we have, um, we're doing some work around um, today uh, with, with a nonprofit called Beautify Earth that is focused on engaging artists in communities mm -hmm. to paint murals to help improve communities, so tapping into the, the art and culture element of our work. Uh, we've got partners working internationally uh, around development. Um, Women for Women International, for example, mm -hmm. is one of our nonprofits. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, the International Day of the Woman is coming up mm -hmm. in, in March. Um, so we're doing some work with them around how do we raise more awareness and connect them to brands who can amplify their work. Um, there are many others in the area of environmental sustainability, education, STEM, mm -hmm. workforce, doing some great work with an organization called Grid Alternatives based out in California that um, trains community members to install solar panels and then install solar panels in low-income communities to help uh, address climate change and to help mm -hmm. uh, lower the cost of energy for families. So lots of different angles that we're exploring mm -hmm. and we see tremendous opportunity for the clients that mm -hmm. we're working with. Seems like there would be an opportunity for just about any business, I would think, if they want to be socially responsible, shall we say, that there would be an opportunity to team up with a nonprofit in some area that would be of interest to both groups. Yes, absolutely. One of the things we do a lot of work on with our clients is to uh, analyze the way they are performing in terms of environmental, social, and governance perspectives. Mm -hmm. and identify areas where they're strong but could be stronger, we can all be stronger in, in certain areas, and where they're weak and should be stronger, and then connect them to a nonprofit and programs in our platform. So for virtually any kind of business, there is an opportunity with GiveWith to identify a nonprofit and a program that will be relevant to your company, but also will lead to powerful impact in a local community or across the country. Mm -hmm. Now in 2015, the 193 members of the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, the uh, Development Agenda for 2030. So between 2016 and 2030, they have 17 very laudable and I think very practical goals that can be achieved if we put our minds to doing this, but uh, to eliminate poverty, to eliminate hunger, to clean the oceans, mm -hmm. to, to combat climate change. Uh, how do, you, do you deal with those, the sustainable development goals? I know there are tens of thousands of groups around the world, service clubs uh, like Rotary, Kiwanis, different ones like that, religious groups that are supporting some or all of the goals. I don't think anybody's opposed to any of them, but uh, are you, do you factor those sustainable development, development goals into what you're doing? Because everything you've talked about today would tie into one or more of those goals. Yes, the UN Sustainable mm -hmm. Development Goals, the SDGs, mm -hmm. are a, an important framework that we've integrated into the Give With platform. And we consider those uh, SDGs when we're looking at our nonprofit partners and examining their programs. We want to make sure that we have partners and programs that are addressing not only the 17 SDGs, but all of the, the mm -hmm. sub-elements with e within each of those SDGs. We also know that companies have made a lot of 
uh, commitments to the SDGs, but there isn't always a clear path on how they can fully execute against what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So part of what the role of give with and what we see as an important role we can play is helping businesses better support the advancement of the SDGs and provide metrics and hard data that allows them to see that their dollars are moving the needle against um, you know, be it you, SDG number one or SDG number 17. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought that up because there were seven, I mentioned 17 sustainable development goals, but there are 169 targets That's right. under there and they're pretty specific. And I would imagine you could probably take any business in the United States or on the planet and they could find <laughs> some, some part of one of those targets or more that they could tie into and to get involved in this. Absolutely. Uh, interestingly, through the work that we do to analyze our nonprofit partners and really apply mm -hmm. our methodology to identify how they um, connect to those, those uh, 169 sub-targets, um, we are able to identify programs that uh, a company may not currently be supporting and that will allow them to add additional SDGs to the work that they're, they're doing, right? So, um, for example, a financial institution may be focused on economic development, but through our platform, we can help introduce them to programs that will allow them to support things related to climate change, um, education, and um, health and wellness as well. So mm -hmm. we are a platform that allows brands to, d to go beyond the core set of SDGs they're looking at and um, have an influence on a, on a much broader number. Mm -hmm. Now, is your operation, are you a prototype for other groups in this country or overseas, other operations are looking at what you're doing and so, say, hey, that's a great idea, why don't we do it? Are there other folks who are saying, let's borrow some ideas? from give with? There might be, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know, okay. We don't know. We uh, believe, based on, on the, the work that we've done around the landscape, that we're really a first of its kind business. Mm -hmm. uh, what we find when we talk to companies about our model is that no one else out there is really thinking about how to leverage business transactions, how to integrate social impact as a tool to generate new funds for nonprofits. I think um, we want to be able to bring this model to the world. We want to scale it. Uh, and um, collaborate with other businesses that want to, to integrate the way that we think into mm -hmm. the work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. I would imagine, I'm just guessing at this, that there would be foundations or philanthropical organizations out there that would probably be very interested in what you're doing. I think so too. Um, interestingly, we have been very focused on developing our nonprofit relationships and developing our client relationships. I think. Uh, an opportunity for us is to begin a broader collaboration with uh, more traditional philanthropic entities, foundations, and uh, major donors, mm -hmm. where we can uh, collectively bring more dollars to the nonprofit sector. We have a unique approach to, to generating funding. We don't want to um, replicate what's happening in the traditional philanthropy world. We really want to be a new source and, and innovative um, uh, approach to funding that grows the pie mm -hmm. that can go to the nonprofit sector. Mm -hmm. uh, it certainly will, <laughs> there's no doubt about yes. it. Well, in the last 45 seconds we have left, the hardest question probably, what, what do you see as your biggest challenge as you move forward with some of the ideas that you've talked about today? I think the biggest mm -hmm. challenge is that we've got a model that's ready to be scaled. We, we want to transform commerce, we're already doing that. And it is evangelizing and engaging more companies mm -hmm. in this, in this um, uh, incredible adventure that we are on. There is so much challenge and uh, so much need. Uh, we <coughs> feel an obligation to unlock as much funding as possible to support nonprofits and to make social change happen. Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly a very laudable goal that you're embarking upon, and it's a, certainly a necessary program, I think, to bring the private sector, which has tremendous resources. There's no way in the world we're going to deal with climate change, or we're going to deal with human trafficking, or we're going to deal with all of these other problems without the private sector getting involved. And there are many corporations that want to be involved. They just don't know how to do it, and it's not their fault. <laughs> it's right. just they need uh, uh, maybe a few ideas, maybe some guidelines, uh, maybe to sit down with people like you and some other folks to talk about 
what they have, what resources they have, what the nonprofits are doing. She mentioned with the, the clean cook stove, she mentioned with cleaning up the oceans, and those are all very important projects. And I'm sure we could sit here and talk about 10, 15, 20, or 30 more yeah. that are going on, but it's so important to bring the private and the public sector together, so to speak, to work on these problems because we have to do it together in tandem because no one country can do it, no small group of countries can do it. But Teresa Schieber, I want to thank you so much for bringing us up to date on Give With, and I want to thank you for a very interesting and a very informative program. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I'm Bill Miller. Thank you for joining us today on Global Connections Television.